Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I already have my eyes done so you might be wondering like, hmm, Sarah, what's that about? And that is because today I'm going to be doing a first impression and wear test of the Too Faced newness. I have the Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and the Born This Way Luminous Oil-Free Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation, which was just relaunched, and this obviously is new. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. Alrighty, so I have already moisturized and primed my face, and now I'm going to go in with the foundation. I've never tried this before, so when it relaunched, I was like, this is my chance to do it. I have the shade Nude, and this is like a pretty decent sized bottle. You get oh, 1.0 fluid ounces, so pretty standard. And let's see, I'm going to squirt some of it onto my clear palette. Seems like a lot. We'll see. We'll see how far it goes. Next, I'm going to take my concealer brush, like I always do, as well as my Wet Beauty Blender, which I'm actually going to spritz with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, just to give it a little extra moisture. I did already go in and color correct some spots that I have. I'm breaking out really bad right now, so we're just going to ignore that. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go in and apply this foundation and see what we think. I do have pretty dry skin. Just to put that out there. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this already. We're going to go with it. Okay, I'm obviously not done yet. I still have half of my forehead to do. But this does seem to be... So it is a luminous foundation, which I can see. It does give my skin a very glossy look to it. I like my skin to look more matte, but without using a matte foundation. So I'm thinking that once this is set down with powder, it's going to give me that look. I'm liking the coverage. It's pretty medium to full. I'm guessing it's very buildable, but in all honesty, I'm not doing much today, so we're not going to build it up. Alrighty, so I have the foundation all applied. I am liking the way that it looks on my skin. It is a little more luminous than I would normally go to, even though I do refrain from using strictly matte foundations. You can see a bit of shine up on my forehead as well as where you would put highlighter, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I do really like the color. It does seem to be a really good match for my skin, and I like it. It's Probably something you would build up to need a more full coverage. You can still see some of my spots peeking through, but I have acne, so <laughs> nothing I can do about that. Okay, so that is my kind of first look at the foundation, and I am really liking it. We are going to do a wear test to see how it lasts, if it breaks apart, if it oxidizes, so on and so on. So, number one, check done. Okay, so next I'm going to be going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It claims you can use this to conceal, contour, highlight, and retouch. It's supposed to be hydrating, long-wearing, photo-friendly, which means no flashback, which is always a good thing. It's infused with coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. So, considering that I do have dry skin, this sounds like it's going to be a really good concealer for me. The packaging is really huge, 
like this almost seems like a foundation, but it's a concealer. I have it in the shade Porcelain, which I hope will be my color. I pretty much picked the shade two shades down from the foundation I got. It does have a really large doe foot applicator, similar to Tarte Shape Tape, which I do like Tarte Shape Tape but it can be really heavy under the eyes. So I'm hoping that this will be a lighter formulation similar to it in terms of coverage. So I don't know how much to use since I've never used this before, so we're just gonna go for it. Okay, so right off the bat, obviously I have not blended it in yet, but it does feel pretty light and fluffy. It doesn't feel thick on the skin. It's, I went overboard. I'm going to be straight up, but let's see how it blends out. Okay, so everything is all blended out. I do like the coverage. It does seem to really conceal and brighten, which is good because that's the point of a concealer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bake my under eyes because that is always what I do and see how it sets, if it mattifies. It does feel pretty tacky right now, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but some powder could cling to it. So we're going to see what happens. I'm going to go in with my Cody Airspun Powder and my Real Techniques Diamond Sponge. I love this because you can really get right up to the waterline to ensure you're not getting any creases or anything right under your eyes. So while this is baking, I am going to go ahead and just put out there that I do have the Urban Decay Born to Run palette on my eyes and I'm currently a huge fan of this. This was my first time like really, really dipping into it and I really like how it turned out. It's a little bit of a lighter look than I would usually go for. Usually if I'm doing my makeup, I'm going all out. But like I said earlier, I'm not really doing much today so I kept it pretty simple. And I do have Ardell lashes on these ones aren't my favorite style. I usually like a little bit more of a fuller, lengthier lash, but you know what? I'm kind of digging it. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and assume I am nice and baked up and go ahead and dust away my bake. Okay, I don't notice, as of right now, any powder clinging to anywhere the concealer was. So it definitely looks like the tackiness is mattified when you apply powder on top of it. It looks really smooth. I'm not seeing any of my hyperpigmentation or veins from under my eyes peeping through. And I'm really liking how this is looking. The foundation I have not set yet, and it is looking really good still. I'm not noticing, as of right now, anything breaking apart or settling into any lines so so far so good I am going to go ahead and set my face now with my Clinique almost powder makeup in O2 neutral fair I'm a huge fan of this powder I've only been using it for like I want to say like a month and a half maybe Okay, so my face is now nice and set, and it does definitely look more matte now, which is what I like. I like when a foundation is on the more luminous side, but once set down with powder, it mattifies. So I'm thinking this looks really good so far. I'm going to go ahead and hop off camera and finish the rest of my face and my waterline and lips, and then I will be back. Alrighty, I am back and I have finished my face and lips and I went ahead and put the shade Baja from the Urban Decay palette under my eyes and I'm really liking it. The foundation worked really well with the bronzer and blush and highlighter that I put on. 
I didn't notice it separating it or having any issues with it. It's looking really good. Like, so far, I'm a fan. And, I mean, yeah, the time right now is 10.46 a.m. I will be doing check-ins throughout the day to update you guys on the wear and tear of the foundation and the concealer. So I will see you guys in a few hours. Bye! Hello guys, it is currently 1.31 and it's so hot outside. It's literally, I can tell you how hot it is. I like drenched in sweat. Just so gross. It is 105 outside. So it's literally like an oven outside. But everything is looking pretty good. I'm not noticing any separation or anything. I'm not too oily at all, which is normal for me because I do have dry skin. And it feels pretty good still. Um, so yeah, so far so good. My under eyes look amazing still. Like, so good. So, I will see you at the next check-in. Alrighty, I am back. It is now 5, oops, it is now 5.38 at night. And right now, the only thing I can complain about is the fact that it has completely broken off of my nose. We did just get hit by, like, a freak wind dust rainstorm thing. The lighting is like so weird right now because I'm filming against my window, so excuse that. But I'm probably going to do one more check-in. Yeah. And then close out the video. I'm not good at vlogging as you can see, um, but I'm working on it. And I'll check back in with you guys later. Bye! Alrighty guys, it is quite a bit later. I've just been packing for a trip I'm going on with my mom. It's almost... I accidentally pressed play on my show. It is almost 10 o'clock. And I'm really tired and I work in the morning. But overall, I did notice that the concealer does seem to have darkened a little bit. But it's also been like forever. And, like I said earlier, the breakage on my nose. But, like I said, there is rain and wind, and I usually don't keep my makeup on for this long. So long, in fact, that the lashes have already come off. But, all in all, I'll definitely be wearing both of the products again. I really liked how they felt on my skin, how they wore for the most part. I'm going to see what I can do to fix this issue. But yeah, that is all. Thank you so much for watching today's review and wear test. I recommend both products, especially the concealer. I think it's so great. A great alternative for Tarte Shape Tape. You get so much product. And for the most part, it wore really well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!